All right, another little brain teaser for you with this question. Um, again, dealing with the Faraday's law. The statement reads, imagine a uniform magnetic field pointing in the Z direction and filling all space. So B is equal to B naught Z hat. A positive charge is at rest at the origin. Now, if somebody turns off the magnetic field, thereby inducing an electric field. In what direction does the charge move? Pretty interesting question, I'd say. Let's dive in. The answer is actually indeterminate until the boundary conditions are supplied. Nothing new there. That's all, uh, that's all differential equations, really. Um, but we know that the curl of E is equal to the negative derivative of the B field. So that's just uh, DB naught over DT uh, in the Z hat direction. But we also know that the divergence here of the E field is zero. But this is insufficient information to determine E. Ordinarily, we would invoke some kind of symmetry of the configuration or require that the field goes to zero at infinity to resolve the ambiguity. But neither are available in this case. If we look at an example from a previous chapter, E is equal to one half db naught dt, uh, where we have y in the x hat direction minus x in the y hat direction. This would do the job, where we have the curl equal to this and the divergence equal to zero, um, in which case the force would be zero. But that would add, it that, that so with that, but we could add any constant vector to this and make it the, uh, the force do anything we like. So again, that's the importance of the boundary conditions and why we need them.